we'll go back, bro. Self-improvement is saturated. You know, we always talk about business models being saturated. There's a lot of people online that are <coughs> that are saying that, well, drop shipping is saturated because there's so many people doing it. And there's there's ad uh, ad dollars are too high, and 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 there's there's shipping times. And then you have people saying that this service is saturated. Everyone is calling about this service. It's like the SMMA is saturated. Everyone is calling. I believe self-improvement as a whole is saturated. And that, that is actually a bold statement because just a few years ago, nearly no one was doing self-improvement. You know, a few years before that, like self-help was like almost not a thing. You had, a, you had the Tony Robbins, and you had the what? You had the Ed Millett. You had a few of these self help. Then before that, you had Napoleon Hill, Dale Carnegie. That was like years ago, the 1900s. You always had these like self help gurus. But now it's just exploded. And the amount of people who are doing self-improvement, self-help, red pill, high-value man status, I'm fucking 400 women a year. The amount of people who are running after this is, uh, is immense. Do I believe that the self-improvers are saturated? Do I believe that the results are saturated? I believe that the people who are improving is saturated. The results aren't really saturated. Because if you go on the dilution calculator right now, and you put in your age, let's say you are put in 20 to 25, even 25 to 30, and you say, okay, I make $100,000 a year, and I, uh, I am, I'm uh, any race, any height, uh, and I, you exclude the marriage, and you, screw the, you exclude the obese, so there's no obesity, there's no married people. Uh, it is 20 to 25 or 20 to 30 or, yeah, 20 to 25, excluded married, excluded obese, and any race, any height. If you make 100K a year, you're, you're in the, I think if you do that, you're going to be in the top 10% of men, I believe, right? Now, if you say that you are, Let's say, what is the height where women start to like always accept you? Where is your, you, you're always accepted. I think like 5'11". Let's say you put 5'11 and above, you're going to be in the top 1-5% of men. Like that. The premise of this video is, will it be like this in the future? Right now, if you are a top guy, I believe that you can do extremely well. But if you if you think about it, how many people are gym maxed? How many people are just jacked? Disgustingly jacked. How many people? Extre ex extreme amounts, right? Well, if you look at it online, there's only, I don't know, what did they say? There's only like 1% or 2% of the world are visibly physically jacked. Maybe if like, because this was old numbers, maybe now it's like maybe 10% of the world are visibly physically jacked. So yeah, everyone is gym maxed. So these numbers might change, but I believe that in the future, because you think about like how the TikTok are talking about the gym now, how the gym is just such a normal thing about how that making money online is just such a normal thing about all of these all of these different things i believe that self-improvement is saturated i believe that you are gonna have to do more to get less in the future and i believe it's a good thing too because men are gonna have more other men to go to and be like oh yeah look for guidance or be on the journey with because it isn't going to be that it isn't going to be that uh how can i say it isn't going to be that lonely on the journey now when you're going to have multiple other people that are with you people have much other much more people to look for for guidance
for an example. And that is extremely good. But of course, like the cultural problems are going to show. Now, when most people have gone to the gym and most people are making around 100K a year because they're working and doing something online and most people look fairly good, do you see the same thing that I see? Like you're going to have to push it another level for the self-improvement, self-help, be the best version of yourself uh, to work. And are you then the best version of yourself? Are you then doing self-help? Are you then doing self-improvement? Or are you just pushing the fucking barrier to entry to a place where people have to work 10 years to become somewhat capable of getting a wife? getting kids now we know that only 40 percent of men throughout times have reproduced so if you're a guy who are like i want kids and a wife you better fucking work <laughs> you better fucking work because that's a competition if you want to reproduce and have a wife that's competition and if you want a good wife to raise your kids and good wife with good genetics fuck that's a competition But that's how the world is. The world is competition. The world is paid to win. The world is, you know, this, 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 and that. And that's the thing. We've seen that self-improvement, self-help, be the best version of yourself has just exploded. With many people doing it, with many people wanting to get into it, with many people are wanting to start it, are starting it now, are going to go to the gym, are going to go and groom themselves properly, put on nice clothes, uh, some of them are going to be taller than you. Some of them are going to be genetically better than you. And those people are going to get ahead of you. And people are making more money than ever. So if you're behind all of this, the only way you can do is change the, the, the mindset. Don't do all of the red pill stuff, maybe. Don't do all of the, all of the, don't do all of the, like, red pill. Don't do all of the, like, same shit as everyone else and trying the same goal. And that's why I have Invictus. No one is doing this. No one is looking at an ideology, mindset, and lifestyle. If you relate in a like-minded to mine, if you look at the uh, long-form videos or short-form videos on TikTok and you're like, yeah, okay, I, I relate in a like-minded to this guy. So I relate in a like-minded to all of his people. Well, then you're going to be out there doing other types of stuff than other people. You're gonna have other. You're gonna have another mindset or ideology to these people that are doing self help, and you're helping yourself and improving yourself, but in another way. Not in a red pill, get as many bitches away. Not in a here and there, but in a more like more solitude way. Finding solitude within yourself is one of the top things in a nictus. and I want that for you. So if you want to try something else in self improvement to self help, then. This channel is for you. So you should like it if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. You should subscribe to be a part of it if you not to follow the journey. You should share this with someone who might need this. Comment down below what you think of this. I have a Gmail address in the uh, bio if you want to reach out. I believe that there's not a lot of different people online that you can reach out to. So you should do it now when you have the chance because... In the future, I'm not going to be able to respond to anything. We're going to be so big. I have such plans. You know, the next next years that are coming, I have so big plan, uh, so many big plans. It's just going to be hard for you. You should take care of yourself and stay awake, don't bro.